All right, what's up, what's up? It's kind of late in the morning, but I'm about to go pick up some bait at a taco shop down the street from my house. Uh, there you go. Um, right now, we're gonna do some uh, bluegill fishing and maybe catch some bass, but we'll see what happens right now. But uh, I'm gonna pick up some bait to my local bait shop right here down the street. It's only about five miles. Six. It's not even not even two miles from my house. So um, he said he got some some blue uh, some special bluegill bait. This is what we use here in the Delta. If you don't know, now you know. I'm gonna show you what it is. All right, you guys, check it out. All right, guys. I am just reaching my uh, local tackle shop right here, and it's called Bait and Tackle H and R. River bait and tackle. So we're about to pull up right now. Park right in front. And that's the building right here. HR bait and tackle. Alright, this park in front and go inside. Alright guys, I just got me some uh wax worms. That's what it is. I'll go inside the car, check it out. Alright, so I just asked the uh shop not the shop owner but the worker there and they're like I just wanted to ask permission if I can uh, record me coming in the shop and uh, buying some bait but he had to run it through his boss but anyways this is what I got y'all that right there is bluegill candy oh bluegill candy oh yeah so I was walking in the shop and then I asked the uh, worker there if I can go in and record uh, permission if I was able to uh, walk in there um, and just record this right here is called big box waxworm they got two sizes small box and big box the small box is three dollars a, a little container the big box comes with like probably 200 little tiny waxworms in there um, if you ever leave these on the side and watch it hatch, they actually hatch into moths, that's what I believe. But yeah, um, we're gonna do some fishing real quick just to uh, just to run through the day because I was supposed to wake up early, but I got too tired and lazy, so I'll probably wait till later. I wanted to see if there's any stripers out there, but um, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll take you to the backyard, throw you some some fishing. Nice. Top. Nice. Yeah. All right, guys. I am just leaving my house. Brawley wants to go too. All right, let's go to uh, a little backyard fishing. First, I gotta unlock this gate. Uh, I hate gates. No more locked doors. I'm not sure which key is what. Yes, Broly, I hear you. That's the right key. Nice. You gotta make sure the uh, gate is closed so that the dogs don't come in. My gear set up. Got the wax worm, small tackle box, and my rod. The reason why I got this is really all I need. I'm just targeting one species, and maybe that species is targeting the other species. Let's go check out our, uh, our villa. Alright, so there are a lot of dogs over here, <clears throat> but that's good. At least it shows that this place is protected. And we're almost there. I didn't walk too far. Right down the street. Probably like 100 yards. Or less actually, 50 yards. What is that? Yeah, Alright, moment of truth. High tide, low tide. Uh, 
guy. Looks good actually. Looks very high. What is this thing? Looks like it's monitoring something, but oh sewage system. Alright, well I'm going down. Fishing that spot right there. That's where I caught the bass last time. It's a floating log over there. Let's go down. We gotta take it easy. I am not trying to go down. Wearing flip flops, by the way. And this is baby steps. Baby steps. All right, let's take a look at this water. Cause it's water. Not bad. It's actually look like went up maybe a foot from the last of my fish here. So it's been high tide since. I hate rocking on rocks like this. Whoa. Alright. Look. Someone's been using sardines. That's a good sign because that means there's stripers in here. Nothing else eats sardines unless it's bass and stripers. Right, let's go down this guy. There's another one right there. Two right here. All right, let's let's start setting up our stuff. All right, guys. So as you can see, all I got right now is my rod with a small drop shot. Not too fancy out here. Just something little. I can untangle it right there. So you can see small mosquito hook probably like a two watt down a foot to a small sinker at my other rod in case I want to throw small lures but we'll see in a second I'll put this back down here and take this out y'all moment of truth bow that's what it is Oh, bluegill candy. And if you don't believe me, watch. This is how you you would actually hook it. So once you grab one, just hook it near the head or the back of the head. They're kind of lethargic right now because they've been in the refrigerator. And there you go. Look at that. See that? That's all you need to do. All right, so I'm gonna check my drag. It's really light. I'm cranking down just a little bit. That's fine. Watch this. So you see that spot? I'm just gonna fish right alongside over here. So first drop, let's see what happens. A little moss, a little algae on the side. Just gonna pause it right here. Let it sink to the bottom. Now, at first, you have to uh, wait so the schoolies can see what's in the water. got to see that there's this bait and there's fish in here or there's bait for them if you don't get a bite just keep tossing it you kind of gotta gotta wake up the fish that there's food it's a dinner bill
up guys we're back i just caught a fish i didn't expect it i was thinking about leaving <laughs> i was really thinking about leaving but as i said check it out so i'm just fishing right here a little spot i'm just hanging out that's the fish we're looking for you there's a bluegill right there see my my lady just called me and uh yeah gave me some good luck so I might throw him back so he can get bigger and call his friends that this this bait this food come get it come get it but that's where he's at right there let him swim a little bit going down see they go down to the rocks oh oh there it goes but yeah that's how it is guys that's really all you need hanging out right there All right, I'm throwing back and then see if I can catch some more guys I'm wondering how to uh, release the fish you grab it by the line right and then you get the other line pull the line up to the hook lightly so you can grab the hook, stabilize the fish. See how the fins are very spiky? It's looking at me right now. But go from the top of your hand and slide your hand downwards. Nice smooth motion. And then you can hold them just like that. Get your sinker out the way, your hook out the way, and there you go. Let's go catch and release this fish right here. Whoop. Just hanging out right there. He could be my friend for today. At least I get to uh, hang out with somebody. All right, let's do this again, guys. And you can see he's just hanging out right in there somewhere. Oh, right there, you can see him right in there. All right, so we're gonna grab us some bait. Uh, if I don't get a cramp. I got a cramp. Okay. Ah, I got a cramp again. Ah, my, my hip. All right, guys. We're going to grab ourselves a bait. Let's grab this guy right here. Squirming a lot. Put the legs back on so that they don't escape. There we go. And now, and there we go. We're just going to thread the wax worm on. A little chilly out here. I'm only wearing the sweater. And bam. That's all you need, guys. Wax wire. Alright, so we're gonna toss them in. Not too far out. Just right here where my feet is at. drop I'm just gonna sit and wait I felt a little nibble earlier so I just sat it out and then all of a sudden fish ate I'm not sure if you're able to see this yeah let's leave it like that So I really just sat here and just let nature take its course. They seen a free meal and decided to come take it. <laughs> so they're in here. Just gotta be patient, sit and wait.
throw in the right spot. Sunfish. See at the bottom? Bottom got a yellow belly belly. The sunfish. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. It's getting hot. I did my fair share of uh, catching bluegills. I caught three already. Uh, they're hard to pick out because they're really under the weeds. But yeah, that's my backyard fishing for today. Uh, I'm gonna call it a day. Maybe when it gets later, I might go up again. But we'll see what happens. Kind of hungry and tired. I didn't eat nothing yet. All right, guys. Well. Catch you later. See you in the next episode. If you haven't already known, this is Yak Planet TV. Like and subscribe. Catch you later.